And so after a few years of labor at the Tron Church, he left. He went to the poorest part of the city, a place known as St. John's Parish, which was inhabited mostly by factory laborers who lived in rather decrepit homes. It was there uh, that out of some 2,000 families, uh, roughly 800 of them were thought to have absolutely no experience with the church or with the gospel whatsoever. And so what Chalmers did was he took the church, he took his deacons, and he organized regular visits to every household. In fact, he himself visited every household within his parish. It took him two years to complete the circuit one time. But still, he used deacons to go door to door, house by house, finding out the needs of these people who are often impoverished, finding ways to encourage them to their own businesses and their own ways to make more money. As a result, it was so successful that the budget for welfare in the city of Glasgow was reduced by 80% in just three years of this work that Chalmers and his deacons so effectively did. It's something that's remarkable that should be said in detail if any would ever wish to actually uh, duplicate it in whatever way possible. He also established schools. He established Sunday schools to teach basic scriptural literacy, to teach reading. He established night schools for the, for the working poor so they could have some basic skills in life, so they could understand how finances work, uh, so they could have better reading and writing skills, so they could even understand things like how hygiene should be practiced or how to mend their own clothing or how to perform basic work around the house. He began to have people come in and teach these basic skill sets uh, that allow greater and greater independence from their work in the factories. 